guys, Beast Family Adventures coming at you again. Today we are actually doing something a little bit different than we normally do. Usually we're overlanding, camping out, primitive camping, stuff like that with the family and, and friends. Today, um, for good reason, which we'll eventually get to, we're here at Lazy Springs Off-Road Park. Um, as you can see, we've got some ATVs uh, right across this hill. There's a actually a, a, a lake. We've got some jet skiers out there. Uh, we did see some jeepers over uh, over at the obstacles a little bit. Right here, we got a few obstacle courses. Uh, we've got some hills, um, some steep hills, and then we got like more for the rock crawling. Um, but the reason we're here today is uh, for a couple upgrades. We did. Uh, some upgrades on our trailer that will be a separate video um, and I know on our previous video I said I wasn't going to rate or put an opinion on the Gladiator because there's so many videos out there however um, I, I bit the bullet um, after jeeping with Judd and getting hung up on multiple obstacles for the stock bike and everything even with the Rubicon model, I still kind of, I still got high centered on a lot of obstacles. So um, I went to Prodigy Off Road. Um, you guys would know um, from a previous video that we had for our charity event. Um, they helped us out with that, um, promoting that, and it was extremely successful. Um, the, the city of Cape Coral was very appreciative, and. Um, uh, I think we're going to actually start doing annual annual charity events to, to raise money for um, Blue Line Bears. Um, and um, if you guys don't know who Blue Line Bears is, it, it's a, uh, a, a young girl. Her dad's a law enforcement officer and she makes bears out of the uniforms of fallen officers for their children. Um, terrific. Um, she does it all on her own. Um, she has a Jeep herself. Uh, so we. We support her and the Harriana Fund with the um, with the Elks Lodge, who provides uh, home services for special needs children free of charge for members, which is terrific. We, we love being a part of both groups, helping out each other. Um, so, uh, going back on to the video, um, we're here with the Gladiator. Um, we we did a few few modifications. Um, Cliff over at Prodigy talked to him, spoke to him about some stuff. He suggested a few options and we pulled the trigger on one. Um, so right here, as you can see, we have it, we have it not even flexed out yet. Um, we still have probably another inch or two to go, but um, we have the, the metal cloak three and a half inch game changer lift kit. You can see it with the control arms. We've got the, um, the sway bar links, springs we opted now they do it is an additional charge but i uh, trusted cliff um he said go with the fox shocks um i went with the, and i do not uh, we don't have the auxiliary reservoir um just for cost we're trying to keep it somewhat friendly some somewhat budget friendly since we since we uh did some upgrades to the trailer also so we couldn't go too crazy um so i went with the fox shocks it was an additional if you subtract the cost of the shocks that the metal cloak comes with and add the Fox shocks, it's about a three to four hundred dollar difference. But what what a world of difference here! All right, we got the uh, Cadence with us today, so you might hear a little parenting in the videos. <laughs> so, um, so it's a complete lift kit, um, and we also went with the the fuel. The fuel 17 by nines. I know a lot of people have been asking questions about it. Um, the red on white, people, people are loving it uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, and then we went with the Cooper STT Pros uh, 37s uh, by 13 and a half. Um, the, the, the reason why I went with only a nine inch tire and a 13 and a half inch wide uh, or a nine inch rim and a 13 and a half inch tire is because if, if you could see, the tire actually bows out a little bit from 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 the rim. Might be a little hard to see on camera, but um, it, it bows out a little bit. And what that does is the tire will take any damage rubbing up on tires. So the tire will be the first thing to um, to hit the to hit the the rock or anything else, other obstacle. What else? Like I said, we, we do have a little bit more. We are not flexed out. 
um, see if we cut these are the stock fenders um, completely stock I didn't split them I know that's we'll probably eventually do that um, rather than getting um, aftermarket metal ones we'll probably just split them it takes a little bit of uh, TLC probably do a thinner LED light I know there's a kid out there from Adventure Labs um, Lightbright has a good video on them tells you how to install it Kevin over at Lightbright I saw I saw his video he does a great job at that um, so right here um, at one of the obstacles we've already been kind of wheeling a little bit um, I did rub um, but right here I'm not rubbing so I know I, I, I at least have another couple more inches to go um, but this kit wakes this gladiator up um, Cliff over at Prodigy he has a six and a half inch clip with, uh, with 40s on Dana 60s so obviously he has more lift more tire he could do a little bit more but for the for the budget friendly that doesn't want to do Dana 60s which is you know seven to ten thousand dollar option right there um, but loves the gladiator wants the overland and have the cargo capacity and the towing capacity but still wants to off-road it like we do the three and a half inch kit from metal plug um, phenomenal for, for the cost it's been it's been surprising me out here um, I'm still trying to get used to it uh, from from Jeep and with Judd um, I knew that I, I, I thought I was gonna get hung up on a couple but clearance wise um, it, it, it's been working great haven't had to even throw any lockers on um, uh, around here unless I'm really in the mud I almost didn't even need four-wheel drive um, it, it would have done it all in two-wheel drive with no locker so um, so that's where we're at now um, future plans um, we are going to be replacing this bumper um, and adding a winch so what I have my eye on the Fab Fours bumper um, it's about about 500 bucks um, plus shipping um, at Cliff at Prodigy has on his uh, his gladiator it's the stubby front end I really like the way it looks um, and then as far as the winch uh, since we're only weekend warriors I'm trying to trying to stay budget friendly so we can throw money elsewhere because we are a young family and we don't have any sponsors and we have no other income besides our work um, so and we have a house there's just a lot of stuff a lot of expenses so what we're trying to do is <clears throat> I'm thinking about going with the Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight just released just released their new one um, with a synthetic line. Um, looks really good. I've seen some reviews online. It looks promising. We'll probably we'll probably go with that one. Um, where it's I think it's less than half the price as a Warren winch. So um, you could almost buy two of them for a price of uh, a comparative um, Warren winch. Um, so as I said before, I will be splitting these. Um, if you come to the back, I'll show, I'll show you a main reason why. Um, and they actually split right here. They're actually two-piece fenders. Um, like I said, Kevin from Lightbright um, shows you how to do it. I'll probably be watching his video and, and do it myself and do the conversion. Um, with the rear, I'm not rubbing yet, but that's for a reason. Um, we, we do. I do not have a rear sway bar disconnect on this. Um, obviously, with the Rubicon, the front and electronic. The sway bar is still connected to this. Um, I, I don't have a links. I'll probably be upgrading that shortly. Um, just get links or quick disconnects for that. Um, but if you could come over here and see where um, we have our um, bump stops, um, this is actually fully extended, so you could probably get a good look at it. Um, if you go down here, um, you see these three three black pucks right here, right down here. There's actually three of them. So when this is actually level, it's about two inches from hitting the bump stop, this top part to the bottom part. And the, the reason for that is because of our fenders, the limiting factor. Um, Cliff from Prodigy, he intentionally did that. So it prevents um, the tire coming up and damaging, um, damaging the fender, uh, the inner fender and, and ripping it out. So <clears throat> what we have to do is we have to split these and then um and then that will create a lot more a lot more space in here uh we'll do inner fenders and that will um and then we can start removing some of those pugs to get more articulation out of the rear <clears throat> obviously the front um we're already rubbing in the front on some on some uh on some obstacles uh not necessarily this one 
but um, due to the, the sway bar disconnect, um, we can actually get up here and and start and start rubbing these. So, which actually probably already already happened. I already I already pulled these. I already pulled some of these uh, push pins out um, just just from rubbing and pushing in there. So. I mean, it is what it is. It's just plastic. It's the inner fender. Um, I'll probably be removing those, like I said earlier. Um, then we can go around to the other side. I'll show you um, future adventure, eventually plans. Um, I, I do like that Fab Four rear bumper that they have. It really protects this corner panel right here. Um, it's just, it's a nice chunk of change. Um, that that alone probably costs more than my rims and tires, just the rear bumper. Um, probably not. It's pretty close though. Um, I think it's about 1800 bucks for the rear bumper. Um, and then eventually I want to do the, um, the Rugged Ridge snorkel. Um, down in Florida, sometimes it gets really dry at times of years, really dusty. Um, not necessarily that I'm going to be submerged in this in water, but I definitely want to bring the, the air intake from underneath here get some fresh air up here for the for the engine um, do that but for the time anything else um, that's all I can really think about right now of what we're, what plans that we've been looking at um, for the gladiator um, pay, if, subscribe and click the notifications on our YouTube um, it, it really helps us out try to get some um, subscribers and then uh, also, so you're notified when we come out with new videos, we will be releasing, we'll be doing a, another video on the trailer of a, uh, so, some more upgrades we did um, to prolong our camping, our primitive camp. So uh, stay tuned, subscribe, notify, appreciate you guys, stay safe out there. And follow us on Instagram at BeastFamilyADV. Now come straight forward. This one.
This one is really high up. I don't know. Oh, you're clear. You can go it's straight so out. Weird. But you're really you 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 looked like you were really close. I know. I feel like I'm. Close. I thought you were gonna hit your tail end on it, but yeah, no. Yeah. I'm so getting used to all the clearances now yeah. because I jeeping with Judd, there, there was no way I would have been able to do that mm -hmm. on stock height and stock tires. 